Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half Cedar Creek 388 RK fifth wheel. This is a rear kitchen couples fifth wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside and outside of the RV. Then we're going to close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside this brand new Cedar Creek 388 RK fifth wheel here. And as you've seen on the floor plan that was up a second ago, this is a triple slide out rear kitchen couples fifth wheel here. We are going to start back here in the rear section and then we'll spin our way back around through the RV here. So starting here in the back section, on the left hand side there, you do have a nice size pantry area with some pull out drawers. The drawers are a little bit of an upgraded drawer guide. They are a soft close drawer guide. You have a huge residential refrigerator back here. Really nice setup with the freezer and ice maker and stuff on the bottom. And then you got your French door refrigerator portion on top. Some overhead cabinets up above that area as well. Now up top you'll see a turbo exhaust fan, a fantastic fan, which does have a uh, temperature sensor, rain sensor, and a wall thermostat control back over on the other side over here. But that is a really nice exhaust fan. So if you're in here cooking, you can use that as a portion of exhausting out some of the smoke and moisture and stuff. And just in general, it really moves a lot of air uh, on a nice fall day, you can use it to kind of help suck air in the RV as well. Now, over on the right-hand side, you do have your large microwave there with some storage above and beside. Now, that microwave is also vented outside, too. So when you're in here cooking, you are also venting things out that direction as well. In the corner there, you have a pretty good amount of storage space back there. The unit has the large Insignia oven. This is currently the biggest oven that they uh, have available from Forest River. And this is uh, basically a glass front with a built-in light. And you have some little blue LED lit knobs. You have four gas burner stovetop section there as well. There's four drawers on the left-hand side there. Again, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. You have some storage underneath of the sink area along with the trash can under there as well. And then a little sponge holder thing flip down drawer there. High rise faucet there, the spring faucet, which has got this little sprayer built into it. And then you also have the graded little sink cover set up there. So you can, or strainer sink covers they call them. Um, so you can do dishes and kind of set things on it, or if you're cooking, like rinsing vegetables, things like that, you can set them up on top of there as well. And kind of a 70-30 undermount stainless sink setup. The unit has two traditional dinette chairs with a little bit of storage underneath of them. And then you have two folding chairs but you can see one of those at the desk area. And then there's another one stored up underneath the bed at the moment. Now, this table does actually have a little fold up and down leaf on it. I have it out at the moment. But it will drop down, giving a little bit more room uh, for the closing up of the slide into the sofa area and stuff here. So when you do close it up, you want to flip that down. Underneath the dinette there is a... Uh, electric outlet down there as well and then you also have another electric outlet that you can see in between the windows there with USB charger ports you have big windows these are deep tent safety glass windows they're the frameless style you'll see when we get outside uh, but a really nice window set up and all of these windows open up in the RV the only one that does not is the one directly behind the stove Now, another thing on the windows, you can kind of see here, you have a day and night roller shade to kind of close things off for privacy. 
Now, back to the desk area here, you do obviously see a desk here. Now, there's four drawers there. Again, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. So you have a little area here to do your work. Um, if you are kind of working from home kind of thing or working partially retired kind of thing, you've got a little desk area. Or for the ladies that are like seamstresses and things like that, it's a cool little desk area, craft area as well too. Um, there's also an electric outlet underneath the desk area there. So there's three electric outlets in that one slide out. I got out the uh, little screen here to kind of show you what this stuff looks like. This is the Furion optional four camera system that they offer. Uh, basically, it's a seven inch monitor. There's a side camera, there's a backup camera, and one over the entry door. You'll see those when we get outside, but that is what that actually looks like. And then this feature here is the tire pressure monitoring system that is built in. So you can put this screen in your truck, and it will read out what's going on with the tires on the RV. So when you're driving down the road, you can see whether your tire goes low or blows out or whatever. Uh, you'd be real surprised how many people drive down the road, have a blowout, and don't even have a clue that it happened until somebody pulls up beside them, kind of telling them. Um, so that is nice to be able to see that, and hopefully you can keep up with the tire pressure so you don't have any issues. Now the sofa over here is a hide-a-bed sofa. So this will flip out into a big bed. So you could sleep a couple adults on there if you needed to. You have the electric fireplace there, which is basically a 5,000 BTU roughly space heater, but they do look pretty cool in the RV. Just above that is your IRV technology radio there that you're seeing pop up. And then you've got a big flat screen TV on the wall, and that is on a swing arm, so you can kind of move it around. Spinning back this direction here, you have the theater seat. Now, the theater seat and the sofa are both completely freestanding. So you can scoot them out or move them around a little bit if you need to, but you do want to put them back where they belong when you are traveling. The theater seat is a power theater seat, so you push a button, it comes in and out. It has a built-in USB charger port there and also cup holders and a little storage there as well. Another little thing is the decorative board across the top of here. It does have a couple lights built into it, and you also have a ceiling fan up top. The ceiling fan is 110 volt, not 12 volt. Going on up this direction here a little bit, you can see you do have a handle there to help you get in and out of the RV from the inside. Your fire extinguisher there. The propane leak detector down there beside the fireplace. There is the fantastic fan control. The little black button above that is the temperature sensor for the downstairs air conditioner. Now in behind this door here, we're going to have a half bath. We'll pop up a couple pictures of this so it's a little easier to see. But you have the porcelain foot flush toilet down here. The graded thing down there is the furnace return. A little bit of storage below the sink area there. You have a nice little decorative wall mirror there. Another turbo exhaust fan up top there as well. Again, works off the thermostat and everything. You have some storage up above. Little medicine cabinet section there on the right. And then you have your big stackable washer dryer closet area there that you're seeing pop up. It's a pretty cool little setup. So if you do have a guest, they have their own little half bath down here to use. Or just a little laundry room. Again, you got your washer dryer area in there. Here is the solar charge controller. This is by GoPower. It's a 12 volt, 30 amp solar charge controller. Um, the unit comes with one solar panel on it. You'll see when we get outside. Um, from the factory, but you could expand that to two or three if you wanted to. 
Now, this is a pretty neat feature. This is the new Firefly system that they started using. And basically, this has a lot of your controls and stuff in it. So you have a master light switch here. You have your gas water heater switch here. You have an upgraded tank sensor system. So no more probes in the tanks where toilet tissue gets stuck on them kind of thing. Uh, so really nice setup there. You have 12-volt tank heaters to help you in the winter time. Water pump switch tells you what's going on with your battery. Temperatures. I flip around here. I go right to my light. Notice how fast that moved compared to the LCI one. Uh, so definitely like that. But this here is telling you what's going on with your lights. Again, you can turn things on and off individually. Um, go over here to your HVAC system. Kind of do what you need to do here. Um, slide controls. Everything's kind of labeled out here. What it is, where it's going. Um, and you go into settings. And you can kind of override and do some stuff in here. Change your screen brightness and all that type of stuff. Um, if you do the generator prep feature or generator in general when you order the camper, it will also have a setting in here to control some generator stuff as well. The door for privacy here is a sliding pocket door. That has a little metal holder down there to hold it in place when you're traveling. And also there's a little step light down there. Another handle here to help you get up and down the steps. Now this unit was ordered with the wall heater. So this is another electric heater here. King size bed. Now you could do a queen if you wanted. They offer a standard mattress or an upgraded mattress. Um, so kind of talk with your salesperson about that if that does interest you. Or obviously you could get your own separate mattress if you like something special. There's an electric outlet on each side of the bed along with USB charger ports. The black box on the wall there on the left is your electric box with some breakers and fuses. Window on both sides of the bed. Again, they do open. You have a little shelf up above that area as well, along with pull-down roller shades for privacy. Do you have another big window there overlooking the campsite area? You have six dresser drawers, a little bit of decorative lighting down below the drawer area there. And obviously you can see you have a about a 32 inch looks like flat screen TV there mounted on the wall. Also, you'll notice you don't see the big square in the RV either. So you have the Whisper Quiet air conditioner. Those are your two filter returns and stuff up there. But a little bit easier to sleep or talk and conversate with these Whisper Quiet air conditioners. Uh, definitely like them better than some of the other ones that are out on the market. In here is the master bathroom area here. And you probably noticed in the half bath downstairs too, the cabinets are white in the bathroom areas where they're more of a grayish tone wood in the uh, rest of the coach. But you have uh, storage on each side and then you have eight drawers in there. You have two faucets in there with kind of a little sink that goes downward into the middle there, but one sink, just a long sink. Up top, you have another turbo exhaust fan in here, again with the thermostat and everything. You have air conditioning controls in here. I'm sorry, not air conditioning controls, but air conditioning duct vents in here, along with heat duct vents in here as well. You have the porcelain foot flush toilet, one-piece fiberglass shower. Does have the sit-down seat in there, sliding glass doors. You have a pretty good size linen closet area there on the left. And back here is going to be a huge closet. Now, this is kind of where your clothes closet, I guess you would say, really is. This is what this is more for. But you will be able to use some bathroom stuff in here as well. Now, pop up again some pictures here. But you have a couple shelves over there, hanging closet. The uh, King Wi-Fi router system right there. Some robe hooks and stuff here. And you'll have some more shelving and stuff over here as well. Storage space down below there. Hanging closet bar. 
lights in here, but a really nice finished off walk-in closet area here. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of these RV videos. Getting a lot of new model change vehicles rolling in and out of here, so just trying to update them as much as possible for you. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention, there's carpet here in this bedroom. Normally this comes with a vinyl floor like downstairs or in the bathroom, but they offer you an optional carpet padding in here. So some people like to do that, some don't. Uh, if that does interest you, talk with your sales guy about that as well. Overall, really beautiful, popular rear kitchen layout here, guys. Definitely like this setup. Um, again, if you got any questions, talk with your salesperson. We're going to head to the outside, go around the outside, and then we're going to come back in and close her all up for you. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this brand new Cedar Creek 388 RK fifth wheel here. Um, we're going to start here on the door side and kind of work our way around. Now, if you're familiar with the Cedar Creek, you'll know the outside look has completely changed. So you have an all-new graphics package, all-new colorization of the fiberglass and everything. So a whole new look for the RV outside-wise. Um, power awning with a built-in LED light strip does have the tiltable and adjustable arms so you can get a better water runoff if it's raining. Now, this particular unit was ordered with the four camera security slash backup observation system so you'll have a camera on the corner here you'll see one on the other side as well and then there's a camera up above the entry door and then the camera on the back now that camera system you can use when you're driving down the road but you could also take it inside they have a little electric adapter you can get off their website and you can actually plug it in inside and use the same monitor inside and kind of see around your camper at nighttime kind of thing. They have the little pet friendly uh, leash latch right there so you could hook up your dog to it if you wanted to uh, around the campground area. Behind the first door here is going to be two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator right there. Down below, you can see the little white sticker thing hanging down there. That is a gas hookup for like a portable grill or something if you wanted to do that. So you have the feet, the option basically of plugging something in there, kind of doing a little cooking out here. Over to the left of that storage compartment, the big storage compartment, is a outside spray port for cold water. So if you're over here doing some cooking or whatever, you do have a water source nearby. You have two outdoor speakers. They are know, probably close to the six foot height roughly off the ground and they're kind of spread apart a little bit so it's a decent amount of sound comes out at you know kind of a more adult ear level kind of thing. The big baggage door here is held up by magnetic holders instead of plastic clips. So nice little setup there that'll hold that up out of your way when you're trying to get to all of your storage stuff here. Now you have a large storage compartment here. You can see the aluminum tube framing and stuff up there as well. Central vac located in here. You can use it in here to vacuum things out if you need to, or you can obviously use it inside that you've seen. And then you do have electric outlet here and TV cable hookup out here as well. And you have a light out here also. Above that spray port is also a electric outlet there as well. Now another thing I really like too, I forget to mention sometimes on these Cedar Creeks, the lower metal skirting actually rolls down to the drop Z frame and kind of hides that frame section down there that you see pop up in the picture. You do have the more ride step above step here so you got a quad step going in and out of the rv has adjustable feet in case you're on unlevel ground it also has the shock assist to it so it will pretty much hold itself up it's not going to fall down on top of you kind of thing unless something 
truly malfunctioned. But it, it's nice and easy to pick up and down. It has the Cedar Creek name engraved into the step with a little backlit light right there as well. Traditional entry door and screen door, but their door is a little bit wider at the 32 inch mark. Large folding entry handle there at the entry door to help you get in and out. Right there is also your model number. So if you're out walking around a dealer's lot and you like a particular camper, look next to the entry door. That is where the model number is going to be located so you can tell the salesman what you liked. Above the entry door there is another light. So you have a light at the step, you have a light above the entry door, plus you have your LED light strip. So you can do multiple stages of light out here as needed. The windows on the side walls are the nicer frameless looking windows. You have deep tent safety glass as windows. They do offer as an option a dual pane window as well. Still basically looks the same, but you've got two layers of glass. Um, so you can do that if you're more into the extended stay or full timing type of RV. Now this one was ordered with the optional slide out awning covers you can see up there. And those basically cover the top of the slide out. That helps shed away water for rain and stuff like that. Also helps keeps leaves and twigs and debris and stuff off the top of the slide. Now down below, you do have dual axles here. You can kind of see uh, aluminum wheels. There is the air center point suspension system, which is kind of like shocks for an RV. So a nice little setup there as well. The Dexter never adjust brakes, so basically what that means is they self-adjust themselves, so you don't have to take it apart and do it by hand. And then you have, again, that easy flex suspension in the middle there. Um, one other thing also on the tires, which we kind of talked about inside as well, uh, those rims have tire pressure monitors built into that valve stem stuff there. Uh, so very important thing to keep up with your tire pressure, guys. Tires on an RV or on anything, are only rated to hold a certain amount of weight at a specific pressure. If you let that pressure drop too much, it cannot hold the weight of the RV properly, and people tend to have blowouts easily. So definitely make sure you check your tire pressure before every trip. Now on the back of the RV here, you can see it is a flat rear end. It does have a ladder that goes up to the roof. The ladder, I really like. It does come down a little bit lower. You can kind of see over there on that Sabre one over there. That ladder is probably about, I'd say, a good 8 to 10 inches higher for you to step on compared to this ladder over here. So a little bit easier for you to make that first initial step onto the RV. There is a little hitch down there. It's a two inch square tube hitch. Uh, that is really meant for like a luggage rack or a bike rack kind of thing. It is not a boat towing type of hitch. Um, if you wanted to do something like that, you would have to do that as more of an aftermarket thing. Cedar Creek does not currently offer that. Um, traditional taillights on the bottom. So you've got uh, lower taillights down here, but then you do have two mid turn or taillights up in the middle there plus your running lights up above now the ones in the middle and the ones below are also turn signals so when you turn on your turn signal both of those lights on the left or both of those lights on the right will flash below the top center light up there you also see the observation or rear backup camera up there that black thing up there now that again is an option i definitely would recommend it if it's not on the rv when it came in from the factory uh, talk with your salesperson about even doing it aftermarket depending on the dealer most dealers stock it that way but it is again technically an option so they don't have to get it but definitely nice to be able to see behind you when you're traveling down the road um, also on the roof up there, I'll pop up a picture here, but you can kind of see some of the stuff up there. You know, this unit has dual whisper quiet air conditioning systems. Um, you got to get up there, check the roof for leakage and stuff from time to time. There is uh, a bunch of holes cut in roofs of RVs, no matter whether it's a fiberglass, a rubber, a vinyl, you know, whatever. There are spots up there that they have to cut holes for plumbing stack vents, roof vents, you know, whatever. 
those things have to be sealed and it is your responsibility to get up there from time to time and inspect that and if it's cracked open to seal that so make sure you guys do again check that i always checked mine about four times a year when i had mine and basically i checked it with the change of season spring fall winter you know summer all that type of stuff just kind of remind yourself to check it because that is where you get some drastic temperature changes causing the roof to expand and contract, uh, which can peel apart some of those seals. So just kind of check it out from time to time. A little storage area back here. Now down in the back section right there is your ice maker shutoff valve, drain valve kind of thing. That goes right under the back of the kitchen sink area, so you do have some storage there. Over here on this side, you have, again, a little bit of storage here underneath the counter area. Now, down below, just to kind of give you an idea what this looks like, you have your dump hose holder down here. You can also see your spare tire there as well. And you can see the enclosed underbelly. Really nice sectionalized enclosed underbelly armor setup. So you can take it apart in pieces if you need to in case of a service issue. It's not one that you have to tear down the thing from one side or the other to get to the middle. So a little bit more uh, service friendly. On the back section back here, you can see your slide out. On this model, they're all hydraulic slides. Up here you have your water heater, and this is a 12 gallon gas and electric water heater. And you can see that basically based off of this model number sticker right here. It tells you how many gallons it is. Drain plug, electric switch right here. Pressure relief valve. Down below is your dump area right here. And also on the right there, you can see your freshwater tank drain as well, along with another black tank handle sticking out down there. So you have a few things down here. Now, some of your handles are going to be located up here. So you have a docking station area. So you have your gray and galley tank up here, along with your front black tank as well. You have battery disconnect up here, cap light switch, cable inlets, satellite inlets. And you've got your outside utility shower, you've got your black tank flush for the front bathroom, along with bypasses and winterizing kits, all located here in your docking station area. The other side of the storage compartment here has the powered power cord reel up there, so you can roll that up out of your way. Your furnace exhaust out there next to the... Uh, hot water heater there and panning up a little bit you can see you also have a security light over here now another thing i like on this unit is they do this baggage door here as a swinging door instead of an up and down door so you don't have to worry about it interfering with the slide out but the baggage door itself is a little bit thicker than the traditional door found on these lightweight style units uh, so you got better insulation. You also have metal door handles instead of plastic. And the fiberglass is also a little bit more expensive, high-gloss fiberglass. You can kind of see the nice shine reflecting off of it. Now, up here is going to be your battery compartment area. And this right here also has the hydraulic pump in it as well. That works your auto level jacks and hydraulic slides. And there's also an in and out button here. Some informational instructions on the auto level jack system here. On the new models, you now control the jacks out here instead of inside. The old version had a little Thing out here on the side that uh, would control the front landing gear and a little bit of the auto level stuff could have been done out here but you had to go inside for the main control functions now you can do everything out here a lot easier so pretty simple to do down below is going to be your stickers here 
And basically this right here will pop up. Uh, the first sticker is going to be your gross vehicle weight. That is the most you can load the RV up to before you uh, overload it, basically risking breaking the axles and the frame and all that type of stuff. Also has your uh, VIN number on it, along with your production date as well. The next sticker that you're going to see pop up here is going to be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. And that is what the factory weighed to the camper when it rolled off the assembly line there. And the next sticker after that is going to be your carrying capacity sticker, which basically tells you how much the poundage you can put into the RV. Next is your tire sticker, which again is telling you your tire size and your tire pressure. So make sure you check that tire pressure and kind of keep up with it. Now on around to the front section here, you can see again, all new graphics package up front here. You have three LED light strips built into the front of the RV there. The unit now has the Rhino pen box, which is standard. And you can opt in for a Trail Air airbag pen box as an option if you want. Some people like the More Ride version, which again, you can do that as well aftermarket. They don't offer that from Cedar Creek, but it is an aftermarket feature. Up here, you have a large storage compartment as well. So you could pack quite a bit of stuff in there, or you can even order it as generator prepped or a generator in it from the factory. They do offer an Onan 5500 watt propane generator as an option if that does interest you. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this portion of the video. We're going to head inside now and close it up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now back up inside the RV here, and we're going to close this thing up for you. So I just want to show you what it looks like all closed up. Uh, again, you've got to come in here to your new Firefly system and go to your slides. That'll bring it up, and then you have your... Um, retract and extend button basically now you can turn these slides on and off individually out in the docking station there are shut off valves for each slide out if you wanted to close them but basically when you're ready to retract all you got to do is hit the button to retract and you'll see here the bedroom will come in first this is kind of the lightest room of the bunch so this usually moves first comes in and stops right here so I'm letting off the button here. Just want to show you what this looks like. So if you do have to stop at a rest area and you want to come in here and take a nap or whatever, you could still walk up in here and lay down and take a nap. If you really wanted to, you could go on over into the bathroom area there and use it if needed without opening up the slide out. Now again on this model you have the half bath so if you're just running into the bathroom you can do that again without opening any slides. Now we're going to continue on in here. So the next slide moving is our sofa slide over there. Let off the button here again so you kind of see what this looks like. Now, obviously, you want to make sure your TV is latched back in place so you don't damage that. The other thing, again, if you do slide out the sofa uh, to give yourself a little more headroom or anything, make sure you push the theater seat back into proper place because it is a snug fit there. And next we are going to continue on in here with the big room. Now on the big room, I'm going to stop here for just a second. Um, you again want to make sure that that table back there has the leaf down. You do not want that leaf up. Now you'll notice I've been letting on and off the button here, so you can do that in case you need to check and make sure there's not a, you know, tree branch or a electric pole or something in the way here. So when the slide comes all the way in, you can see if you really had to, if you were a smaller person, you could squeeze back in here 
and kind of get to some stuff without opening up the slide. And then you could kind of squeeze around kind of the dinette table and stuff over there. But for us larger folks, it would be a little bit on the tighter side. But overall, fairly functional. Hit the extend button here. We're going to take things back out. So, spin back around here. You can kind of see here the bedroom slide going back out. Now, when this gets all the way out, the sofa slide will also start to go again because that's kind of the lightest next room and that's out and spin this back around here you can kind of see the flush floor slide mechanism drop down into place here I like the flush floor slides. Uh, that just kind of helps keep you from stubbing your toe on it. You'll see a little bit of carpet on these flush floor slides uh, in RVs. And they do that to hide the basically the mechanisms that make them flush floor. So you kind of see underneath of here what that looks like without the carpet. If they did a, a linoleum or something, which some brands have tried to do, you'll see where basically these little ridges and stuff are and the mechanisms end up causing those to have uh i guess little rough spots where when you step on it it causes the linoleums and stuff to crack and break so most manufacturers do carpet they're also starting to use some sort of new woven material in some of these brands you'll start to see those as i do some videos on those um that apparently they use in boats and stuff too so instead of carpet, some brands are starting to use that. They're giving that a shot instead of linoleum also. But uh, they're all trying to innovate and come up with different ideas for you guys. Uh, again, guys, thank you for checking out the video here. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys keeping up with the videos. Thanks again, guys.